Yep. de son je m'appelle Eloi je m'appelle Eloi test 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 je m'appelle Eloi ça je m'appelle Eloi test 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 bah 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 Ok. Hello everybody and welcome to this video and I'm failing. I'm failing. Hello everybody and welcome to this video and I'm failing. I'm failing. <laughs> C'est tellement stressant. Ok. Trois, deux, trois, deux, trois, deux, oh. <rire> Ok. Enregistré. <coughs> Hello and welcome to this post-mortem of Firework HC06. So what it is about? It is about these little uh, components that you can plug on an Arduino. So for people that don't know, Arduino is this kind of um, device. And if you connect it to a relay, it allows you to trigger that uh, and to fire some um, firework. And that's lame. <laughs> C'est super chaud. Parce que j'aimerais bien pas me planter dès le début. <coughs> 3, 2, 1 
Hello everybody and welcome to this video where I want to show you a post-mortem of how we can connect this little guy, uh, HC06, to an Arduino and your phone. That's a lot to make crazy stuff, like during the last hackathon we did an, ap uh, a, uh, an application that allow you to trigger some firework. So, for example, it looks like this. You have uh, some firework and you want to trigger it. So firework, it can be crackers, small firework or big one. Each one has a small um, fuse that you can trigger by exploding something next to it, by burning it, by putting fire, same here, putting fire with uh, low cost. But to do that, uh, you need to put some electricity, uh, electricity on it. When you put some electricity on the circuit, it will burn the, the fuse. But to do that, you need a relay. If you don't know how it's working, uh, I'm doing a workshop here. So in the link in the description, you have plenty of information. But basically, you put some voltage here, some small voltage from a Arduino. And here you can have a big one like here, um, 80 volts with two or three amp to burn the cable. The stuff is that what we want to learn is this little guy and this little guy it's super awesome. So basically you plug it, you put some cable to avoid having 5 volt on 3 volt. It's in the workshop and it allow you to send information easily on the stuff here. So for me it took me one day to learn it, master it and do it, but with a good tutorial, you should master it in two, three hours max. Basically, it's, uh, we just say here to the phone, here, take some uh, string, and based on the string, uh, here you will activate and deactivate some pin on the Arduino. The voltage will go over there and trigger the, um, the firework. The fun part, and why I'm studying that, is that between that and that, there is no cable. So between my application and this little guy, no cable. So I, it means that I can control in my game some uh, ex external um, hardware uh, to 20 meters. 20 meters, so 40 meters if you go from one side to another. Crazy, huh? And super easy. So what will be this video is talking about this project, explaining a bit what I learned, what I found, uh, the workshop, the tutorial, and uh, look a bit about the code, how we, how we do that. Something that is super cool with this project but was not attempt, uh, that was not the aim at start, is that I can control from my phone with my phone an Arduino, but I can also having several phone and several HC06. So it means that if I want to trigger a firework in this village and this village at the same moment and with a timing that is synchronized, it's possible. So basically what we did to do that is we take the JSON, we store information of when the firework has to be triggered. Poof, it's a this phone, do you have this HC, HC06 with a MAC address? So it's an address that is just for this device. And if he have it, he put some voltage. The voltage use the battery to burn a cable and the cable burn up the firework. If you want to look like, uh, if you want to see what it look like, I will show you this video. So up, I will put in high. So here it's a mix of what we presented during the hackathon we did three weeks ago and um, the final product that we used during the New Year's events. So the next video will be in June because we cannot use firework without uh, permission and the only permission that we have as non-professional is during the, the, big, uh, whole, the big festivity. And so I cannot work on it officially. So here we have uh, my phone. My phone is uh, triggering here uh, the component I show you. So phone, Bluetooth, HC01, and bam. 
we have uh, <laughs> sorry you don't have the sound but you have here I press and it fire a small uh, fuse that will that is representative of the firework Ta-da! and so in the inside it looks like this so I have yep the Bluetooth components that is talking to the Arduino. The Arduino is sending the electricity here. It's going in the relay and the relay is triggering a high voltage current to burn um, a cable like uh, this. So you see, I have here a battery that is here linked to the, um, the relay. So boom, voltage is going the battery. It burned the cable with the big, the big Problem is that you need uh, at least one amp of electricity to be able to burn the cable. If you don't know what is an amp or voltage, in the workshop uh, that is a wiki, I've put plenty of information of how to learn about that because when I restarted the project, I had no clue of e how electricity was working again. And so I study it again. And so you have plenty of tutorial over there. So yeah, so I'm burning the cable and ta-da. Basically, you can trigger firework uh, behind that. So you can burn a cable like this, or you can light a LED that will trigger something else to burn the cable. You can take, uh, for example, here a small mesh and burn it, or you can use uh, a stick to, how is a matchstick. So here, what it looks like. So I have just some stuff to keep it near the fuse. I have this uh, device to be able to, be able to uh, keep the metal uh, part that will burn on the fuse and the electricity coming. The problem is that it's during the test of the new year, it was really boring because it was falling all the time. And when it was broken, it take time to replace it. So my next steps, my next step was to find this solution where you just <laughs> trigger two metal uh, parts. It's allow you me. It's allow me to fuse the um, the um, uh, the firework, but it allow me also to replace it uh, quick if it's uh, bra broken during the new year, because it's it's what is really boring. It's when it's broken, it takes some time. For example, this version um, it's super cool and it works really well. So it's a stick with a cable that I'm burning, but to replace it once again, it takes some time. Like look like this. Ta-da! So uh, when you arrive, the big problem is that uh, you are in the dark, so it's super hard to do it. And I use a box that is really a bad idea because each time I do that, the cable was uh, disconnected. But it looked like this in in the final version. So I have a box, I have the Bluetooth, I have the phone in my hand, and <laughs> here we go. If I hear some some firework. Ta-da! I could trigger all of them, but as this was the first prototype, I had some difficulty to have all working because of uh, some cable was breaking, some other was falling. So next version, I will be able to fire a lot of them. Um, and as you can see, I can trigger several of them, but also it allow me to trigger from a far distance because I will show you what happened when you are in a close distance. For example, here I was uh, trying to fix something, and up, and basically an accident appeared. So if you were uh, lighting this stuff and it would explode, you would be next to him. So it's super super dangerous. It's why I'm doing that. Yeah, I'm doing that to learn the device, but also to to fire from a safe distance. Um, and so yeah, basically what bring me to this project uh, it's this guy so there is this guy that did a unity plugin that allow you to communicate between uh, the both of them so if you want to do this project um, what you need to do is to buy this asset this uh, like 20 dollars um, 20 euro and that allow you to communicate between the both of them when you do that it's crazy it's crazy crazy good Basically, uh, my problem with the video he did is this. So 
he did a small tutorial, but he's not explaining a lot about electricity, about Arduino, about terminal, terminal about application. And so, for example, here you, the, you have two mistakes, RTX and TX. If you do that, this like this, uh, your Arduino will never compile anymore because when you compile, he, he need the RX and TX. And so you need to do pop a redirection when you say RX and TX will take this pin else it will not work. Uh, same for the resistance, it's really, really low. So it means that it will burn too, f too easily. So I, uh, in all the demo, uh, people are putting high uh, resistance, of, uh, at, mean, at, mean at least a bit higher. And so yeah, so what did I do? Uh, what did I do is that, uh, and you can find it in the description, hop, hop, hop. Uh, I did uh, this wiki, so HC06, uh, H hello HC06, this is basically a tutorial about everything you need to learn to, to be able to master this stuff um, and to trigger firework. So you have here some version and on the side here in the index you have plenty of stuff. Basically, to be able to learn from this tutorial, you need to know a bit about, about electricity, a bit about Arduino, a bit about how not to die from this experiment, uh, how to use a multimeter, and uh, what is a firework. After that, you have the tutorial step by step that will explain you uh, how to do it. That's a working progress because uh, it takes some time and anyway, if I deliver the workshop now, but nobody cares because it's not the new year's anymore. So it will be for June. Uh, this part will be for June. There is some information, but it's not ready. So the electrical part, if you are a noob, uh, you need at least to learn what is electricity to be able to work with the Arduino and with the burning cable. So you need to know what is the amp, a voltage, a resistance. So basically, really quick, you have a battery that have plenty of electricity that we call electron that we can make move in the atom of the cable here. And so the idea is that if you have a lot of electron and you have to push the electron, they will be used by the light and this light will burn them. If it's a small cable, a really small cable that is not, that don't want to let the electron pass, it will burn because the electron will move too much the atom and it will produce some uh, electricity, some, no, by electricity, some joule, that is some uh, heat. And that's why you need to know what is a what. Voltage is, we push the electron. Amp is the number of electron that is going per second in your cable. Uh, resistance is just, if you put, if you say, oh, to the electron, go in this cable, it, they will all try to go and it, they will burn your cable. So we put some bridge, some uh, not some bridge, but some, some stuff that is avoiding the, the electricity to go too far, too, too fast in the circuits. Okay. Then there's plenty of other stuff to learn that is cool, like capacitor and stuff, but that is not used in this project. So basically um, an amp is uh, the number of electrons that will pass in your cable, but the huge the amounts. So you can have small amounts, like for the Arduino. You can have big amounts, like for a flashlight. And for us, for burning the cable, we need two to three amps. That's a super risk because it can burn your finger easily, burn your cable, and also um, be dangerous for your uh, health, uh, for your health, if you if you use it not properly. When you have done that, uh, you can learn so ab about some what, uh, some how to explode your components, so burn it, explode it, and stuff like this. Um, how to burn cable, like if you use a live voltage, here what it look like. So it can be dangerous, but it can be fun too. And yeah, what you will have to learn is how to use this formula to be able to, yeah, to master a bit of electricity and how to recognize a resistance. When you do that, 
so there is plenty here of tutorial learning you how to do that. You will be to, you will need to learn Arduino, and the Arduino is this stuff. It's how we can talk with this stuff that we call a micro microprocessor that has some script here that allow you to control the electricity here. Okay, and how you do that by learning, and so it's you need to learn a bit of, of programming, how we can code. So if this stuff is afraid you, you should learn it if you want to learn it. And if you don't know all this kind of stuff, mm, you will not be able to do this tutorial. Uh, at, at least you will be able to do it, but not to understand those parts. Okay? Okay. So the relay is super important to learn. So here is some tutorial. Yep. And here. Next step you want to learn is how to not die, because as uh, you can see in Jurassic Park, you can die easily from electricity. Basically, more you have voltage, more you have chance to die from it. But it's not the voltage that is killing you; it's the amp. So the number of electricity that will go in your in your um, in your skin or in your body, and ho for how many time. So be really really careful for that. For example, if we look here, in this video that is explaining a bit about that, um, if you have less than one amp, it's okay. You will have plenty of problem, but not a lot. But if you have more than uh, one amp, like two or three amps, it starts to be really, really dangerous. And so, yeah. Up. Um, I'm sorry. I, I'm a bit okay. So, uh, you, what I want to learn you is how to not die. Like I, like you saw, it's uh, here the way to die. So, poop, 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 poop. There is the electricity. There is the voltage too, because if you have a high voltage, you have also a high ampere. But uh, after thirty ampere, it's become really, really uh, dangerous. So, if I take my Something good to know is that I have bought this kind of battery, okay, to use during the project. And one one uh, alkaline battery is not enough, so you need three of them. Sorry, two seconds. So if you have alkaline battery, that battery that is on the uh, uh, in the supermarket, you need three of them that you can put like this up, up. Ta-da! And don't make this go over there because, uh, except if you want to burn something, uh, and here uh, our cable, because you have um, nine, you have 27, 27 volts here. So as you can see, watch out! It's super dangerous. Um, and also, there is something that is here in the alkaline batteries. So one on the supermarket, you have less than one amp. That, so you will not have a lot of damage. But here on this one, that is a lithium um, lithium battery, um, pom, 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 like this, um, you have the, capaci the capacity to send two to three amps on the cable. So it's super, super effective and it burns anything. It's super fun. But be careful with it because, yeah, it's lithium. So it burns easily. So be be gentle with uh, this kind of device. Okay, so there is another way to die is to be stupid <coughs> and uh, is to play with electricity without knowing it. So I've put you some tutorial about how to explode stuff, how to uh, be dangerous like this guy uh, is doing. Don't do that at home. Don't do it. Uh, it's <laughs> this guy is totally crazy. He even is putting some alternative current in the <laughs> um pum pum pum. It's super fun. That's why I'm taking some time. Don't do that, huh? Are you T 
Ta-da! <laughs> the frequency of electricity in your... Ah. If you do that, I'm not responsible of your data. Okay? So, another way to die is explosion. Don't forget that firework is explosion. So, this tutorial is super, super dangerous. Have, you need to have some water, some sand, and some uh, empty bucket to put on the fire to close it. You have plenty of stuff you can learn of uh, how to be safe and how to not die. Uh, so watch those video if you have time. And I have a problem with the sound. Okay. If you don't, uh, you have free, you will become that. You will become someone to lo low fat like this. Put in some firework in the fridge. What will happen? <coughs> Boom. Um, or something like, up this. <laughs> you have to be stupid to do that, but don't do that. The stupid. Okay. There is plenty of way to hurt yourself, and there is some video in this those tutorial that's explaining uh, that it's super. They are lucky because there is plenty of way to die like they did and that's why i put some link of the darwin award that is explaining you um okay here is the guy he put some firework here but the firework is pressing there and pff, boom he is dead another one he was taking the firework like this and playing like oh i will remove it at the last time pff, no head another one he was looking to the firework when it was launching pff, dead plenty of way so be be safe okay be safe so on that if you have learned electricity arduino and how not to die you want to learn how to use this device so it's called use multimeter and what is a firework so if you want to look a bit of what is a firework i've prepared you plenty of video of um what is it how it's launched and stuff like this for example here is firework for professional with a really really big one and here you have, a you have two guys that will cut the firework and show you what is in the inside. So for example, to give you a bit of trailer, here he will cut it and show you how it's triggered and how it's working in the inside. Yep. Um, the other one is for the big explosion. For example, here he will explain you Okay, that's professional explosion and how it's working. So basically here it will explode. It will put this big ball in the air and it will be firing that after and fire. You can learn about that. So yeah, cool stuff to learn. F really cool video. <laughs> nice. Um, here is some video to learn a bit the comparison between each one. Be um, go see the law in your country because a lot of these fireworks are not allowed because you it's really really regular fun. during the new year they will not they will not care except if you burn your house but yeah you don't want to burn your house so learn about it Ta -da! so when you have learned all that I suppose that you are now all bored in the video and that you want to s um, to see a bit about the coding. So coding, 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 coding. Yep, uh, that code over there. The coding part. So basically, if you have uh, Unity, so Unity is a tool that make that allow you to make some video game. Uh, if you don't know it, go learn about it. There is a tutorial in the workshop. Of a tutorial, uh, a redirection to Unity. Basically, I have here um, some interface that allow me to click on 0, 1, 2, 3. So it's the, the pin I want to activate. So if I press 0 here, it will send um, yep. It will send the letter A to say uh, A here to say activate me the pin number 4. So on the Arduino, we have this script. I don't remember if I told you about this script. So I will, yeah, I will summarize it a bit. Sorry, break. We forgot everything. We make a break. You are here. Okay. What I want to talk about now is the coding part. So we have here a JSON. Okay, the JSON. It look like this. Um, Mega Christmas edits. 
it looked like this. So it's a bit unreadable. So we will go on the uh, viewer, JSON viewer. Hop, put the code over here and here. So basically, we have a script that is just storing some information, and those information is okay. What is the ID of this device? It means the stuff that allow me to communicate with him, and the ID is over there. Okay. There is a big problem with this device is that you can co ask him to connect by name and password, but you can also uh, connect by MAC address. The problem is that I did not find a password for the MAC address, so I can connect to anything just by asking. Super dangerous, but here for the prototype, I was not caring about. So here I store the MAC address of every pin I want to communicate with. I store um, when I want to activate them. So it's relative time because basically we'll say trigger me the one that's firing everything or trigger me the one that is firing this one, this one, this one, this one, and the other on the friend field, on the, your friend's uh, firework launcher. And so here you just have to say, I want to activate, when I say uh, all of them, for example, I want to activate this MAC address and this pin at this time. So for example, here I say activate me the pin tree on the device here that is considered the one with four pin, so just for launching station. Activate me the tree after five seconds uh, of time. Okay? So what I do is that this file is stored online. So every minute I will upload, I will download the file to allow me to be always synchronized on the other phone. So if you want to change at the last minute, it's not a good idea in with my prototype. But if you want to prepare a launching station and then just put when you need, it's pretty cool. So you say, okay, I want to activate those one. Up. So you arrive to the phone part. Yep, here. And so the phone part you can trigger by tapping like this with this device, that's just a tap with us. You can type it by using a keyboard or uh, by uh, clicking on the screen. When you click on the screen, basically what will happen is that here in Unity, it will ask, yup, yup, yup. By clicking on it, it will ask here a script that I call Firework HC06 to uh, create and uh, to sorry yeah. so it will ask for example if I say activate all pin so everyone I take all the uh, device that is uh, recorded on the application and I say can you trigger this MAC address and the number 0 to 10 because I have 10, max, 10 pin max available on, on a hardware and an Arduino. Sorry, an Arduino. I need to breathe a, a little bit. So how it's going to do that? It's just because it will take the uh, plugin. So the auto connect is a script that is coming from the plugin I buy, but as that I modify, I give him the MAC address and I say, can you connect me to uh, this device and uh, activate the pin number X? So I will show you that here. So you don't, you give the MAC address and say, start to listen to this one. Basically, it will create a Bluetooth device class that will manage the communication between the device and your phone, between the small component and your phone. It will before ask the user to activate Bluetooth if he did not do it. And if you ask to say, set me this pin, it will write a letter. And this letter is based on the pin you are asking. So 0 to 9 and um, <coughs> high A, capital, capital A, it means put the voltage, minus, it means remove the voltage. So we just send a keyboard um, stroke, a keyboard stroke to uh, this device. And like I s show you in the other script, if uh, the guy 
receive a letter, he will, tra he will translate that by the pin he has to activate in the real world. Because the 0 to 1 is used by the Arduino for plenty of other stuff, so we don't use it. The 1 and the 2 in the code here I say, here is where you can receive and send some information with the keyboard. Okay, Rx and Tx. And here we say, uh, can you listen to it? Poof. All the um, all the pin will be able to send voltage and not receive it because you can use it to receive. Here we want to send to put some voltage on it. And here we check if there is something new. If there is something new, boom, we activate the voltage. It's as simple as that. And so yeah. But we'll say, uh, didn't you didn't you show uh, a sh um, a picture at the start of the stuff saying about there is a problem with the cable? Yes. And so we'll show you that. So this guy is telling us put your string like this. Up. The problem is that if I put my string like this, as you can see, I have Rx and Tx that is using Rx and Tx of the Arduino. That's a bad solution, and I learned it after plenty of, uh, of uh, tutorial because there is half of the tutorial that is asking to do that, but each time I do that, I have plenty of bug on my Arduino, and uh, it's because Arduino is not... You are not supposed to use that except if you know what you are doing. N and if you want to use this one, you have to not use it, but to redirect it to uh, another pin on the Arduino, the two and the three, for me. And uh, there is a super good tutorial about that. So if you go in my uh, Christmas notes, so it's where I'm storing the, my research during the hackathon of the Christmas, the Christmas hackathon, you can see that here I have the schema, the schema of the really wrong one that I was using. Um, and then I have one that is called good tutorial here, really good tutorial. Uh, and watch, I can remove it because I watched it all. And if you look at it, this guy is, is explaining you that you need a double, uh, you, you need two times more resistance here and one here to make a bridge that allows to have less voltage. Um, and you need to put it on another pin. So this tutorial is super cool. I show you a bit of it here. So I will cut the sound because you don't have it anywhere. So the guy will explain you, okay, this is a component that is called HC06. Up, We can tri uh, put some cable on it like this with something that is already ready to communicate with your device. Um, and you can use uh, the terminal of Arduino IDE to communicate with it. And here he, he explained how to change the name of the, the, the device, the password of it. Me, I did not succeed to do it, but I suppose because I have a cheap one or something like that. Um, after that, she will explain you how to make this bridge. So as you can see, you have here um, the breadboard with all the cable and the resistance. If you want to have more image, you can go in the album of my hackathon. Uh, there is plenty of image of how I did this part. Or go in the tutorial later. Up. So after that, you, you plug that, you need to make the code, and he explained a bit of it. So if you need a really good tutorial, this one is a really good one. Not a, not a full one, but a good one. And so yeah. So uh, that's what I learned of this project. So what to say more? Except uh, that it was super, super fun. <laughs> oh yeah. You don't need uh, Unity, so here I've used Unity to trigger some firework, but if you don't want to learn about Unity and sending a uh, letter, there is an application on Android Store that is super cool. That is called uh, um, Google Play. That is called Electronic. Mm, let me check to be sure. It's on the workshop, but I don't want to... Yeah, I will go in the workshop. So in the workshop, it's you go on my website, you go here in hardware and components. 
Yep, and we have here Bluetooth Electronic. Hop. And you don't have the link yet. Mm. But we'll take the name. Yeah, the workshop is in in, pro in development. Up. And this is this one. So this tool is super cool. It allows you indeed to when you press on your key on your phone to send some letter to the Bluetooth component I show you. So, so to this uh, stuff. And so like this, you can control the LED, uh, the light of your LED, the color, or plenty of stuff. When you can use the Arduino, it's super cool. Um, for example, I can show you a bit um, of what I have done. Do -do 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 -do. Bureau. So here was what it look, can look like. So, for example, you take some some button, you put it over there. Yep, and you put it like you want. For example, here, if I press on one, it will light the electricity on the relay immediately. But if I want to put a lot of electricity and not just do tick tick, I have this switch. I click on it and poof, it, it will send uh, A or minus A. For example, here, I will change it. Poof. I remove the, the previous one. I put maj A, uh, minus A, and maj A. Okay, so now if I click on this one, yep, this code will receive the A here and bam, it will work. And so it allows you to create your interface quickly to be able to trigger uh, some Arduino stuff kind of easily through Bluetooth. So if you don't like Unity, you can use this stuff. It's super, super cool. And so here we go, here we are. I will show you some last stuff um, and then I will close this video because it's just a post-mortem I wanted to do to give to the community but I don't know where I'm going indeed because the next step is to make a workshop before Julie uh, for people that want to use it but I have to wait five months before I can continue this workshop because I cannot test it and uh, it's not used full to learn to make a video about firework when it's not the firework period so what i will show you now it's um some photo about the firework i have done so feel free to come here and to check around so you have plenty for example here uh fun in the danger zone for people that is still in the video it's um, a page where i'm showing some crazy projects that have been done where people are totally crazy but it's super fun to watch for example uh, this one is a russian guy that will fire a lot of them like like a machine machine gun this one is a guy that will fire sets uh, 700 of rockets in the same time just by triggering all of them with a big explosion for example yep up and you don't have the sound huh? <laughs> don't do that at home he is totally crazy he, he could die indeed on here <laughs> look at that Super dangerous. Uh, he, he, he can put fire, he can kill himself, he can. Pff, super dangerous. But that's, super, that's fun in the danger zone. Fun in the danger zone. So, yeah, plenty of stuff. Super cool to learn here. Um, I want to speak a lot, but I don't want to make a huge, huge, huge video. So, if you have plenty of questions, don't hesitate to ask them in the comment or to see me in the Discord. Uh, something I wanted to show you last uh, is the album here. Just to check around if I have some stuff to, to share with you again. So here, for example, here, this is a, a photo of uh, a first prototype. And uh, as you can see here, it's what you need to do with your components. So that's the team. We were eight. 
uh, we were eight in the team making the prototype because we wanted to have a website to control the firework part. So several of them was working on the website and several of them was working on how to ignite uh, the, um, the, um, the, ex the, the fuse uh, during the hackathon. Here is the second version. Here is what you need to do with your cable to be able to communicate between the RC and the Arduino. This, I think I need at least five or six hours to make a workshop correctly uh, with all I've learned, but I will not do it now because plenty of stuff here, plenty of stuff to say. So here, ta -ta -ta. that's kind of one of the last version uh, or one of the first version. It was small, uh, I don't know, we said uh, small um, stuff to, to maintain the mesh and we burn it with the cable here. It was working well, but to replace it is really hard. So first version was really crap because we have to do that. But each time we have to burn the cable, break it and burn the, um, uh, I don't know how we said, but yeah. Up uh, here, that was the, the, hack the whole people in the hackathon. If I work, to do do. That was the hackathon, hack your Christmas. IoT Challenge Samsung Modern Geek. That was the website. The problem is that I don't have a big image of it, but it was just to be able to configure the JSON you saw in the, the video. Yep. A bit of the team working. Yep. In the next album, it's better because uh, it's the album from the new year. So, doo -doo 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 -doo. what's happened here? Okay, here. So, for example, that was something cool. Is that I use a uh, cable to be able to burn uh, the fuse, but the problem is that the cable is breaking easily. So, what I did is that you can see here, uh, I had used two cables that was was um, putting one one on another. But the problem is that you need two more. Fine, you need more more power. You need like, if you need one amp for a cable, you need one, uh, two, to, two to three amps to burn the, both of them because they are sharing more surface. And so good idea, but bad idea because I need more power. That was another stuff that is cool is that electricity is going to the fastest way. So here I have put some plenty of cable, but technically the electricity is just going, uh, instead of going like this, like I wanted to do, they're going like tuk tuk. That's logic, uh, but at the first time I was like, oh shit, I didn't know about it. So it's useless to do that. So here is the first prototype with three uh, alkaline um, uh, battery. And like I said, it was not, it. I needed three to burn the cable and one with lithium. Uh, first prototype of how to burn stuff because I apparently when you have a long cable uh, it's really hard to to make it burn and so what I did is a small one a small one a small one and at the end I, I observed that the small one like this really is this uh, is burning really quick and so it's better to do that like the, you see up the fuse is because uh, it's easy, it's easy to have too much electricity and to burn it. Uh, I did not burn this one, but uh, it was someone in the previous hackathon. But uh, it was fun to, to learn how to replace it. And so, like I said, three alkaline is one lithium in terms of ampere of ampere you can send. B B uh, one, enfin, B uh, safe. This small cable from the Arduino will burn so quick. So use more something like a uh, croc, croc cable that have a better, um, a, a bigger uh, cable. Yep, it's, it, but because it's burned, it, it become really quickly hot. Here it's, it was a way for me to put all the croc on the ground up. And here it's a cool stuff. Indeed, the problem is that you need to have a lot of power with the battery. So you are sending like a uh, nine volt, two amp on the, the relay. 
But the problem is that if you light five fireworks at the same time, it means that the ump have to go on five uh, five sorry um, different circuits, and so you don't have enough power anymore to burn them. So what I did first, it was to put a lot of battery, uh, like um, one in the other, in uh, in continuous, to be able to have a lot of voltage and sort a lot of ampere to be able to burn the stuff. But the problem is that. If you light one, it burns the cable so quick that the cable ca break. And if you light all of them, then it's working. But you need to light all, the, all of them, so you don't have this particularity to be able to choose. So how I did that, it was here. I put all the voltage here on this one, and I put some cable that go from relay to relay. And when it's opening, uh, it make a, a way for the current to move on. And like this, you can have plenty of them but with one source but as it was not working i did not continue in that way for the for the project but it was nice to know that we can do that with only one battery if you want to do like one two three four then one battery is just what you need one lithium battery here is some example of how my first try to burn stuff with cable and doo -doo 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 -doo. here how we can use it so i use um, a socket that allow you to put some cable to the, the stuff yep to allow you to burn the cable this was the bad solution because the problem is that uh, it makes this length but to fire the firework you need like uh, this so if, i mean a big big uh, distance so the stick here is not a good idea up my working station so here are some example i did try to use fire so to push here to put some gas and to put electricity i think it could work but it was really a lot of work for almost nothing because you burn the stuff but yes, there is a delay and so i have to try again with other system but it's kind of dangerous i think for what i want to do and so here for example, the box I showed you earlier, I think, of uh, what the project was looking like at the end. So the battery goes here and the burning stuff go over there. And here is, during the the final version, what it looked like. So I have a metal stuff that allows me to put the socket here. I put the fuse here and it's burning. Oh, but the problem is that it was breaking a lot and it was really a pain in the ass to replace. So it's why I... I did a way to uh, to easily replace it. If you want to use professional stuff, there is this kind of device that you put electricity on it and it make an explosion here and trigger the firework. It's super effective, but it's each time you use it, you're burning some uh, money. So it's why I was trying to find some other ways than than this one. Yep. Here is some other photo of how it was in the inside. For example, here you have the cable and the battery. Really, really bad idea because each time I was opening it, it was uh, moving all the cable and it was unplugging for the battery. And it's why uh, in the New Year's I was not able to fire a six at the same time. Because uh, wait, be careful, it burns a lot. Not enough to burn the socket, but enough to make some damage on the cable and the stuff like this. Don't forget this firework. Huh? And uh, here, the big problem of this battery is that, as you can see, it's easy to have a contact between the battery and the crock, the crocodile cable. And so um, it's super dangerous for my part because it can easily burn stuff around. So it's stuff I have to work on. Yeah, uh, the like is because uh, having a metal a uh, flexible one near you is super useful for your prototyping. That's a mistake I did. Uh, if you do that, the current is going like this, and so it's not burning and so exp not exploding. So you really need to have some space here to make it like this and to make the ignition over there. So be, be wary of that. That is the cable I use to burn the, the fuse, and you can buy it on Amazon or eBay or stuff like this. 
it's uh, super super small uh, it's like this but um, you have two three meter here it's just what you need here is my new way to plug to be able to re easily replace it with uh, some metal part and that's the super cool stuff is that you can buy that in any firework uh, store and that's some that's some stuff that is will ignite uh, your firework you can buy like a cable like this cut it in small piece and like this you will have this green part that you allow you to make some prototype about triggering uh, be worry that um, even if it's a small one it will move away for two three meter with uh, some flame so it's still dangerous inside huh? be worried of that if you don't want to buy that you can buy a firecracker a lot of firecracker and you remove the the fuse and you use it for your prototyping super it was super effective this both way yep and here you go and so if you want to learn more about how to use it how to use the project is working or if you have a question feel free to put them in the description or to go um, directly here on the workshop and to put uh, an issue here to ask question um, and yeah I hope uh, this tutorial post-mortem was useful to you it's not a tutorial in the way that it will be but not yet but I needed to make a post-mortem before going to the next project so I hope it's uh, you enjoy it may the code be with you see you next time bye